Hey boys, welcome back to the second part in this Sheffield Shield encounter against New South Wales, where with the bat, we, we did pretty well. We were looking pretty good with a 47. Unfortunately, couldn't convert that one into a bigger score. Um, but we bowled. We bowled beautifully. We got a... Did we get our best figures? Four for... I thought we got four for 19, but uh, maybe it was four for 20. Uh, or maybe it doesn't update. I'm not too sure, but we... we <laughs> We're very unlucky not to get the five far. Um, bold outstanding. Uh, is this one struck him in front? Surely that's close. Might have got a uh, a bit of bat on it to save him. Gonna look at the replay here because I I thought this was I thought this was dead plum. Having a look here, pitches pitches in line. Yeah, might have just a sneaky. Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> definitely uh, definitely an edge on that one. Unfortunately. Hackney survives as he, he tries a little hack across the line there, but um, New South Wales in uh, in an okay position as that is a that's a good ball, a little bit slow to get the edge, but um, good uh, good bowling nonetheless. But they lead by 18, and uh, this partnership is is looking like a a bit of a worry. And he went one wicket down for 126. Uh, thankfully, we did have a fairly sizable lead. In that first innings, it's right here. What has happened there? He's he's trying to play. He's trying to play like over, over backwards square. <laughs> Again, I thought this one was actually pretty close. It was the wrong in, was it? Top spinner. It hit his pad. Oh, he like jammed on on the bat and pad. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It might not have been hitting the stumps. It might have just hit him outside the line of off stump. Or it might not have been out due to the uh, the edge. I'm not sure. It was it was a bit of a weird one. As right here, what is <laughs> what is happening this this innings, dude? The third chance here. Have we got a wicket here? I don't think we do. <laughs> not out. How on earth? What has happened? Another good bit of bowling. I think it's Gibson goes for the booming, just smack over cow corner. I think, and it's just. Somehow it doesn't hit the stumps, and then Jimmy Pearson just a little bit slow to take the bales off. He survives as uh, that's out, is it? <laughs> he must have dropped it. We come back into the fray, into our 18th over, none for 26. New South Wales, three for 271. We really need to pick up some wickets. They lead by 163. It's, it's not dire straight, um, but uh, we definitely need to get a few. A few wickets. Ryan Gibson has now moved on to a big hundred, 119 of 169. We <laughs> we could have had him out, but um, we're toiling away here. 22nd over. Is this one? What has happened there? I just thought it might have been a little inside edge on the pad, but our, our luck has not been with us this innings. They've moved on to five for 366. Finally, get a wicket. Very well deserved. It's not going to be Gibson. He is on 155, going very strongly. Uh, but that's a beautiful wicket. Edwards playing forward to it. Not a not a terrible shot, but uh, just good bowling. Catches a little outside edge and a big wicket. It is a big wicket because if we can if we can uh, knock the tail over here, you know, 366, but they only lead by 258. As somehow Trent Copeland <laughs> first ball. How did that miss the uh, the off peg, dude? That was extremely close but yeah the, the lead if we keep it if we keep it below 300 it does keep uh it does keep improving as right here struck him in front again probably height's an issue i thought it was pretty darn close might have just hit him outside the line of our stump he did get a fair lunge forward and yeah just probably just a touch outside off stump could have been going over as well but uh one for i think <laughs> The font for the, the figures is like all screwed up, but I think it was like one for 40 into our 28 over. So the last couple of Sheffield 2 games, we haven't had to bowl that much, but uh, the second innings, we're, we're putting in the hard yards. As finally, there it is, another big wicket. Conway is going to be out, and I think that's the innings, a top edge. Thankfully, we had a slip in. Chris Lynn takes, uh, takes a good grab coming across off the ricochet from Pearson. I think that was the final wicket. Or maybe one more to go. No, there we go. There's the Mitch, uh, Mitch Swepson getting the fire for 
Unfortunately, we didn't get one in the first innings. We definitely deserved it. But uh, getting a couple of crucial ones there, kept it very tight, like two for 40-something off 30 overs. Like, that's that's pretty good returns. Ryan Gibson here, a few highlights. He had a, he had a stellar game. He didn't quite get the double ton. <laughs> we keep trying to get through it there. But it's uh, 100 and... What do you get? 176. So, yeah, we're in for a, we're in for a chase here. Target of uh, 300 and 306, I think it was, or 301. Um, but a pretty good start. Chris Lynn, 90. Did he get out, or is he uh, is he still in? We come in with a 52 average, very handy. Uh, Chris Lynn, he did get out. I don't think he got his 100. I think he got 90. But Larby Shane also doing a good job, 54 of 97. Uh, and all of a sudden, I only trail by 147. It's uh, balls definitely in our court. This is uh, this is our game to lose from here for sure. We're not uh, we're not sitting pretty, but um, momentum you would have to say is is uh, is well and truly with us. Two wickets down, 158. Thankfully, Labuschagne is uh, is set and he's in, and uh, we we're, we're obviously being in, in great touch with the batters. That is. Uh, a well punched drive, vacant mid off field again. You know I've, I've talked about it a little bit. The the AI do like to set this field. You know it's a it's 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 a positive and negative. Obviously the risk reward. Obviously going for those those bigger off drives carry some risk for the edges. But uh, I feel like you you got to have a, a standard mid off. I know I know a lot of times in real life when. But, uh, you know, bowlers and captains set their field a bit squarer. Um, they'll have, like, their mid-off to more of an extra cover. I just, I don't I don't like the position because it just, it just sort of takes away bowling full or very full. And sometimes, you know, you don't want to give half volleys, but you do want to get it up there. And uh, not having a genuine mid-off fielder, it just, it just takes away that, um, that, that delivery, really. Because if you bowl it there... You know, uh, the runs can flow for sure. It can bring about the edge, but uh, generally for a foolish delivery, you, you do want that mid-off, just a little bit of protection. As uh, That was, uh, that was a Yorker, got through us. Thankfully, it was just a touch outside the line of the stumps, but uh, on Reeks here into his, into his fifth over. That one's a thick inside edge. It rocketed off the bat. That absolutely flew down to the fielder. If it was just a meter or two either side of him, it would have been uh, four. As uh, that's a good shot as well. Going to sneak through for a single. It was well fielded by the uh, by the fields when they saved saved three runs for sure. But uh, we're just getting into our innings. Uh, trail by 124. So you know we don't we don't have to be the savior here. We just got to bat around at Larby Shane, who is who is batting beautifully. Hopefully he gets his ton. Um, Puts us on the right track. Another another short one. They've been, they've done a few short balls, but they've been extremely short. They've been like a foot over our head each time. So we like playing the pull shot, but anything that short is just, it's just no good. Is that is a, uh, it's a good shot in the end, but it was it was a little bit risky. <laughs> didn't really mean it to go uppishly that far, but uh, thankfully they didn't have a, a cover in play, so. Fairly, fairly safe shot with the field set as uh, just a nice, nicely driven, <laughs> driven shot to mid off there. But uh, yeah, we just have, we just have to bat around Larby Shane, get his get his ton, trail by you know under a hundred, and we can just get a get a sneaky fifty. Pretty much, you know, chase almost almost done at that point. So you know, it's a it's set up it's set up beautifully for us today. Sunny, 26 degrees. Got to be happy with that. Beautiful day for batting. And uh, that is a, a cracking shot. Short and wide outside off stump. You know, I feel like the best the best way to play though is just free the arms. Just just hit it up and over the up and over the slips fielders because I've got out a bunch of times trying to play it along the ground through like gully and uh, you just sort of squirt it straight to the slip fielders. So I think just... Just let it, let it, let it fly. Just let it fly straight over the, straight over the gully, man. Easy, easy boundary every time. As uh, another four straight through the covers there. They do have a fairly, it is a fairly attacking field for sure. Yeah, uh, you'd probably expect soon. As uh, unfortunately, Larby Shane has departed. Sam Hazlitt, the new man to the crease. So the 
that one wicket. We're still only 3 for 192, as that is another, that's just exactly what I'm talking about. Beautifully played over the slips there. That is, that is beautiful to watch. Almost 6 too, it was a, it was a well-timed shot. Um, but that one wicket, only 3 down for almost 200, but that one wicket changes the dynamic a lot. We, uh, another beautiful shot. This time we didn't go up and over, but that time we played it beautifully down to the ground in between gully and point that is that's uh that's class that's class batting uh but now the the pressure is definitely well and truly on us because we've we've seen it we've seen it pretty much every every innings in our shield matches in this cream mode that uh if we get out <laughs> the the middle to lower water fold pretty darn quickly they generally you know to get a hundred runs off them is uh is a little bit of an ask because that is a that is a fantastic shot. What about that? High over off stump, and we have just smacked it well for a square leg over mid wicket with power too. This has been a great over four, four dot four. It's been a tremendous batting. As this one again just guided through that region, not quite going to get to the boundary. We're going to pick up another couple though. So, you know, we're sort of taking the taking the attack to the bowlers here while the field is fairly attacking at the minute. They're trying to get wickets. Um, we're trying to just you know get get runs on the board quickly, put the pressure back on. You know, the bowlers lose their line of length a little bit. Hopefully, the captain sort of spreads his field out. Loses a couple of attacking fielders and uh, just make the make this final 91 runs a little bit easier as uh, that one is cracked again. Just going to be a single. They do have a couple of men back, which I, I think that's actually a pretty good field um, for us, especially as that is swept beautifully. Again, we're, we're, we're batting just... Our, our form with the bat has been absolutely first class um, throughout the whole career, honestly. We're 42 off 26. <laughs> playing like a t20 match at the minute we're not even we're not even really slogging it's just uh it's just good batting it's good batting in uh, attacking the bowlers but um what was i talking about the uh the field yeah I, I like the field actually of the two men back on the boundaries um square just because we we do we do like to play obviously um you know we do like to play the short ball, and uh, just a little miss hit can easily, easily get us out. So, yeah, it is. It's a, it's a handy tactic for sure. Okay, so Nathan Lyon continuing on here, forty six off twenty eight, going, <laughs> going for the big evo over square leg, trying to bring up the fifty in one foul swoop there. Just, uh, just missed everything, thankfully. Um, come, yeah, the round the wicked tactic. We've talked about it a little bit. Don't understand it, but that is a beautifully driven shot. Through wide extra cover. Wide mid off, whatever you want to say. 50 off 30, 10 fours, 40 runs in boundaries. <laughs> Dealing, uh, we should be pretty fresh, pretty fresh. We haven't had to do, uh, too much running, so... Yeah, it's been uh, just a couple of big overs. A couple of overs gone for... Well, two overs have gone for 24 runs at least. Um, great stuff. Great stuff indeed. And Hazlitt, he's come in and he's uh, he's been pro proactive as well. 10 off 15. That's all he has to do. Just get a, you know, just get a handy little 20, 20, 30 runs and trail by only 66 runs. You would, you would hope as well. <laughs> Direct hit could have been a could have been a little bit of strife there, but you would hope at this point we're pretty much we're pretty much set for uh for another victory and a make it back to back or three on the trot. I think we've been in we've been in good form with the with the Sheffield Shield this year. As uh line there throws throws it out wide, bit of a bit of a <laughs> I don't know, bit of a uh, a gift for us maybe or, or trying to tempt us into a into a big shot looking for a for a wicket um got to do something as uh this one is cut off no no run there as uh he continues on around the wicket surprisingly you know surprisingly he's kept around the wicket uh, you know it, it honestly makes him makes facing him a lot easier because unless he does throw it out up outside off stump most of his deliveries are, are straight and going down even further legs so when you pretty much just keep working him on the leg side, just just like that, 
Exactly. But over the wicket, you know, he can he can toss it up outside off stump a little bit easier. And we've got to be a little bit more careful as to where we're playing it and, and what balls we're actually playing. Is that, is, that was such a good shot too. Just a little flick there. So 61 off 39. It's, uh, the, <laughs> the plan continues. Um, and again, just over pitch, too straight. It's a good shot. It's it's a really good shot. Just whipping it through that that's uh, mid wicket region, but it's bad bowling. It's bad bowling, and it's bad captaincy as well. I, I don't know why. I don't know why they're persisting with uh, with the tactic. I don't even. I don't even think the last game we we got out to to the spinners coming around the wicket. Um, as uh, Ben Dwarsh just comes back into the attack here, one bowler we do have a bit of a bit of trouble facing, just the extra pace. But this time we're <laughs> we're in some good touch here, and the extra pace, the extra bounce, we've just cracked it. 98 meters over backward square. That is a uh, as a great shot. Fantastic. 74. We actually <laughs> we're actually sneaking up for a potential century. Another wicket has fallen, so Jack Wildermuth is a new man to the crease. Um, but we need 32, and we are only 22 away from a uh, from a ton. <laughs> this <laughs> this would be a ridiculous. Uh, ooh, that's uh, that's quick. That's quick, and we played it completely down the wrong line of that one. Um, so we're we're looking for it. Honestly, we're gonna go for it for sure. I gotta try to hog the strike. As again, a good good delivery. Just that. That angle across doesn't make the, the pull shot that much harder. And then we're going to get cleaned up. As soon as Dwarfs just came on, we we pumped that one for six. And then ever since then, we were struggling deluxe. This one, again, it's quick. <laughs> we played a late, but we also... I don't know, dude. I don't know what I was watching. It looked like it was going straight. It didn't On the replay, it didn't even really look like it swung in too much. But it felt like... It came in a lot off the pitch. I don't know. Maybe when I was playing live, it felt like it. But uh, Chris Lynn played brilliantly, 134 and 90. Bit unlucky not to get man of the match. We also had a, a stellar game in our own right. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.